Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Farmhouse Mama. So today we are going to be making a sweet treat for Valentine's Day with a little bit of mix to it. So although it's not quite Valentine's Day, we are still in January, but it is slowly approaching. So I thought that maybe if you wanted to make a little something sweet for your sweetie, then this would be the perfect cake. So um, I usually make my husband likes to strawberries covered in chocolate so i make those for him every year but um i just wanted to try this because i made this recipe a long time ago and it's been so long i can't even really remember how it tasted i'm just going to say for the sake of this video that it tasted good but it's been so long and i remember so let's go ahead and jump right into the video excuse me so right here I have um so right here I have a box of uh Betty Crocker cake mix and this is cherry chip and it was 99 cents from Sharp Shoppers and I am not a big fan of cherry so I feel like I needed to add something to this to kind of you know make it taste a little different. So I already poured my mix into the bowl and as soon as I get this on here <laughs> can't believe I forgot how to put it on here um we're going to get oh there we go okay we're going to get started on the next thing so my bowl is secure it's in place I have my cake batter in here and then I'm going to just crack three eggs probably should have cracked the egg before I put this whip on here but and I need to take it off because I realized just now I got the wrong one on here okay so I got my three eggs in here. Grab a paper towel real quick. And instead of using this one, I'm going to use a flat beater. All right, there we go. All right, so the box calls for three eggs. So basically you're just following the directions of the box, but you are just gonna make some slight changes. Like you guys already know, instead of oil, I use butter in my cakes. And instead of water, I use milk. But this time we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So we are going to be making this cake using this concentrated lemon juice that I picked up. And I got this from Walmart. And we're just going to add one cup of this concentrated lemon juice. Uh, come on. Okay, so we are going to add one cup of this concentrated lemon juice. So basically we're making a cherry lime cake. All right, and you do want to make sure that this is thawed out. And mine is not quite thawed out, so if yours isn't thawed out and you want it to thaw out fast, just sit this in a container of hot water and it should thaw out in moments. So um, I have a half a cup here, but I need one cup. So I'm going to go back and let this thaw out a little bit more. Mm, about five minutes and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I have my um, liquid now. And I have one cup and I'm just going to pour it in here. So I'm basically just going to be mixing all of this together. And then I have my half a cup of butter. I'm just going to drop that in there too. 
and then we're just going to start mixing. Now I remember how this thing worked. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so this is what my batter looks like and I did taste it off camera and it tastes delicious. The butter gave it like a really smooth taste and the uh, lemonade concentrate just took some of that sweetness out of it. So it's not going to be a really overly sweet cake and it almost has like a a tropical like taste to it. It is so good. And the great thing about this is you don't have to use a cherry cake. You can get a vanilla cake and you can add any kind of um, concentrated fruit drink that you want to it. Or you can get a chocolate cake and maybe do um, some type of raspberry concentrated drink or something like that oh I might have to try that next that sounds good chocolate and raspberries so maybe that's what I will do in addition to the <laughs> in addition to the chocolate and strawberries because maybe I'll, those be gone my husband he loves them so he kind of like eats them up so maybe I will do a find a chocolate cake recipe and find me some chocolate, um, some raspberry uh, concentrate. That sounds good. Wow. I can't wait to try that now. I never did chocolate before. I always used to do like the vanilla cakes. So it's been a minute since I've done chocolate or well, I haven't done the chocolate. So this ought to be really interesting. Then I'm just going to shake it out. So that it cooks evenly. Then we're going to pop it in the oven on 350 for about 35 minutes because I am using a dark bunt pan. So you want to cook it just basically according to the instructions on the box and that's what it's calling for. And then once it comes out of the oven, I am going to take this... Um, vanilla frosting I have here. I'm going to mix a little bit of this lemonade with it to kind of cut down on the sweetness that's in the frosting as well. So I'll be back when this is done guys. All right guys so this is the finished product. Um, I had to have a little taste so I can let you know what it tastes like. So let's dig in. Mm. I know y'all hear me smacking. <laughs> That's good. 
It's not too sweet. It has a fruity taste to it. It's almost tropical. Mmm. So good. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. If it's something you're going to make for Valentine's Day for your sweetie, leave me a comment below. If you do make it, let me know how he liked it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you then.